Good morning, everyone. Please sit with your back straight, feet on the ground, hands on your upper thighs. Gently focus on third eye, which is above the bridge of your nose, between your eyebrows. And um, we're gonna start with Kriyaki Yoga, which you will be focusing on breathing. As you inhale, you will, if you can visualize, visualize the air moving from your tailbone through your backbone, all the way to the back of your head, going all the way up and then entering the center of your head where your third eye is. As you exhale, see the reverse direction from your center of your head going to the back of your head, all the way down through your backbone, your vertebra, all the way down to your tailbone. So we're gonna do this several times. As you do this, you're cleaning your Kundalini line. Kundalini line is what, um, when you are stressing, uh, that would accumulate a lot of, uh, sometimes blockages, sometimes, um, energy that needs to move this way you move it so let's go ahead and do this on your own a few times you will feel a lot of tingling which is really good so let's go on your own a few times Now, if you can visualize beautiful golden light with silver lining from sky, from multiverse, entering your crown chakra, which is at the top of your head. If you can, you can visualize it to be like a lotus. It is covering your crown chakra fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your third eye, which is at the center of your head. Again, you can visualize a lotus. It is covering it in golden light, fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your throat chakra. It's covering your throat chakra. Again, you can visualize a lotus. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your heart chakra at the center of your chest, where your sternum is. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. It's going down to your solar plex, three inches above your navel, your belly button. It is covered in golden light, Visualize a lotus fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It goes down to your sacral chakra, two and a half inches below your navel. Visualize a lotus. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It goes down to your basic chakra, where your sex organs, your groin area is located. 
the lotus there is covered in golden light fully and completely it cleans and energizes this beautiful light from multiverse travels through your legs it goes down 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 to mother earth it goes further down to the core of mother earth we share this beautiful healing and energizing energy from multiverse with mother earth with our gratitude with the bounty that is giving us every moment of our lives. Throughout our meditation, this beautiful golden light expands through Mother Core as it heals and energizes. Part of this beautiful golden light travels back through our legs. It travels through our rare chakra, Ming Ming, back solar plex, back heart chakra. And as it does, it covers them in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. And it travels up, up, up toward our crown chakra and then join the multiverse. We do have this beautiful golden light traveling through our chakra from the multiverse all the way down to the core of Mother Earth. We're going to expand this beautiful golden light like a bubble, if you want, if you wish, or you could visualize if you wish um, that you are an onion and you're at the center and this golden light is covering the first layer of onion or first layer of lotus. I like the bubble center of the bubble and it expands to cover the first auric layer it is covered in golden light fully and completely any and all blockages anything less than love dissipate and disintegrate now, take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the second auric layer. It is covered in golden light. Fully and completely. any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the third auric layer, like a lotus, you just keep going to the third layer of the flower petals or expand your bubble to cover the third auric layer fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fourth auric layer, the golden light is covering your fourth auric layer fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. We've gone to the fifth auric layer. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. 
Now, take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the sixth auric layer. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale and anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the sixth auric layer. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the seventh auric layer. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the templates. Each template corresponds to chakras with the same methodology as aura or the layer. You can visualize that you're a lotus or an onion and go layer by layer or a bubble and just expand the bubble to cover the next and the next layer. Going with the first template corresponding to our basic chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. If you wish, you can visualize just this golden light just covers it as slowly like a clock moves and just covers the whole thing. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the second template corresponding to your sacral chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the third template corresponding to your solar plex. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate now. Take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fourth template corresponding to your heart chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fifth template corresponding to your throat chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you.
moving on to the sixth template corresponding to your third eye at the center of your head. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the seventh template corresponding to your crown chakra at top of your head. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Now we are going to cut all, any and all coercive links, any and all karmic links that no longer serves, any and all energetic links from us to others or others to us that no longer serves and is less than love. We're gonna have them disintegrate and dissipate. You can set your intention or you can visualize that you have electrical plug with a cord attached to it and that is attached to your energetic bodies. And the other side goes to another soul that has the same format of electrical plug with a cord attached to it. Dislodge it from both ends, wherever they are, they, these are within your energetic bodies, whatever numbers of uh, cords that may, there may be. Visualize that you're dislodging them and then they, you disintegrate all of them into dust. Any and all coercive links, any and all karmic links that no longer serves, any and all energetic links from us to others, to others to us that no longer serves and is less than love, disintegrate and dissipate. Now take a deep breath. Now see that while you're in this beautiful golden light, you create a lot of little golden balls and just send them to fill the cavities of all those locations where you pull the plug, the electrical plug from your, within your energetic fields. Also send a bunch of these to go to other souls. So it would also like a plaster fill those cavities where the electrical plug or what we visualize it to be, was the slush from their energetic bodies. You can set your intent and just say so and it shall be. Now, we are going to open our chakras starting with our basic chakra. Chakras are like a cone. They're always open, they're in neutral. We're just going to make them a little bit active further. So the way they are, like a cone, the white. Can visualize, you can state it and it shall be. You can state it mentally or you can say it loud if you wish, you're all muted. The basic chakra opens toward the ground where your groin area is. Open your basic chakra by extending it fully and rotating it clockwise, or you can say, I'm extending my basic chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my basic chakra now. Moving on to the sacral chakra, two and a half inches below navel. This one opens in front of you. Same format, same idea. Extending your sacral chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or say I'm extending my sacral chakra fully, 
rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my sacral chakra now. Moving on to solar plex chakra, three inches above navel. You extend it in front of you and rotating it clockwise. Or say I'm extending my solar plex chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my solar plex chakra now. Moving on to the heart chakra, open it in front of you and rotating it clockwise, or say I'm extending my heart chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my heart chakra now. At center of your chest. Moving on to throat chakra, where your center of your throat is, you extend it fully in front of you, rotating it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my throat chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my throat chakra now. Moving on to the third eye chakra, which is at the center of your head, where your eyebrows meet above the bridge of your nose, extended fully in front of you, rotating it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my third eye chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my third eye chakra now. Moving on to the crown chakra, which is at the top of your head, like a beautiful lotus. The cone opens toward the sky, extended fully, rotate it clockwise or say, I'm extending my crown chakra fully, rotating it clockwise or I'm opening my crown chakra now. Now we are at the seventh frequency. Now repeat that after me. I'm of a high frequency and no astral entity at this level or below can attach to me and see that they all slip away wherever they are. They were connected within your astral, within your um, energetic bodies, your chakras, or even inside your chakras, just a slip away. And see as they slip away, like you're a Teflon, nothing can attach to you. There is this beautiful, very strong, uh, like a vacuum that sucks everything in back to multiverse. I am of a high frequency now and nothing can attach to me. No astral entity can attach to me at this level or lower level. And everything just a slip away. See that everything is sucked out. Beautiful. Now we are gonna start our meditation today. This meditation is courtesy of Sadhu Guru. I really enjoyed it. It is uh, a meditation where uh, during the course of it, you will be um, meeting uh, either your higher self, your guides, or a spiritual leader that you have followed and you feel that is your teacher, if you wish. So when I say that, you could pick who you wish to um, engaged in walking, okay? First, we start with take a deep breath. As you, inhale, as you exhale, relax yourself. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, relax even more. Take another deep breath. 
as you exhale. With this exhalation, relax completely. Feel your body is relaxing fully. Gently inhale with your mouth open. Close your mouth and exhale with your mouth closed with your nostrils. Gently inhale with your mouth open. Close your mouth and exhale mouth closed with your nostrils. Do this several times. Visualize yourself walking upon the beach all by yourself. Visualize yourself walking upon the beach all by yourself. Feel all the sensations the coolness of the evening breeze, the crunch of your step upon the sand, warm, warm ocean lapping at your feet. Feel all sensations. The coolness of evening breeze, the crunch of your step upon the sand, warm ocean, laughing at your feet. Walking on the beach, leaving footprints. Walking on the beach, leaving footprints. Walking on the beach, leaving footprints. Feel all the sensation, the coolness of evening breeze, the crunch of your step upon the sand, warm ocean lapping at your feet. Feel all sensations. you find either your higher self or your master guide or whomever you like, your spiritual guide, walking beside you. You look at your higher self, master guide, or your teacher, and you smile. and energetically hold your hands, holding hands. You turn back to check where he or she could have come from or it. You turn back to check where he, she, or it came, could have came from. and notice only your own footprints.
He would turn back to check where he could have come from and notice only your own footprints. So you wonder why he's not leaving footprints. Notice only your own footprints. So you wonder why he or she or it is not leaving footprints. Your higher self, your guy, or your teacher smiles and says, footprints, footprint is a bad idea. Only if you are too invested in your little sense, in your physical and mental manifestation, you leave strong footprints. Only if you are too invested in your little sense, in your physical and mental manifestation, you leave a strong footprints. If you dissolve or divest the accumulation of body and mind, you shall become the cosmic spirit, one with all that is a cosmic being. If you dissolve or divest the accumulations of body and mind, you shall become the cosmic spirit, one with all that is a cosmic being. As you walk with uncertain steps upon the ocean floor, Deep in the water, your guide, your higher self turns you, turns you toward the ocean. And hand in hand, you walk in the ocean. You feel the warm water at your feet. You feel the warm water at your ankle. As you walk, you feel the warm water at your feet. You feel the warm water at your ankle. You feel the warm water at your calves and knees and thighs, base of your belly, going up your chest, neck, face, forehead, and you are fully submerged. You breathe fully well beneath the water. You breathe well beneath the water. As you walk with uncertain steps upon the ocean floor, deep in the water, you breathe deeply beneath the water. As you walk with uncertain steps upon the ocean floor, deep in the water, you breathe deeply beneath the water. As you walk with uncertain steps upon the ocean floor, deep in the water, look at the life in the ocean. 
see the water all around you. As you go deeper in the ocean, the water come cooler. As you walk up on the ocean floor, you realize that you're a salt doll. You're a doll made of salt and you're dissolving and losing your physical mass and psychological sense of separation from all. As you walk deep in the ocean, you realize that you are a salt doll. You are a doll made of salt and you are dissolving and losing your physical mass and psychological sense of separation from all. As you walk deep in the ocean floor, what you thought was yourself is dissolving rapidly and becoming one with the vastness of the ocean. As you walk deep in the ocean floor, what you thought was yourself is dissolving rapidly and becoming one with the vastness of the ocean. What you thought was you is in rapid obliteration and becoming one with the vastness of the ocean. What you thought was you is in rapid obliteration and becoming one with the vastness of the ocean. And you can be the ocean. Why this stubbornness just to be a drop? Then you can be the ocean. Why this stubbornness just to be a drop? Your separateness is the basis of insecurity. Your separateness is the basis of insecurity. Your separateness is the base of anxiety and fear. Your separateness is the base of anxiety and fear. Separateness is self-imprisonment. Separateness is self-imprisonment. In a joyful sense of becoming free of oneself and all, in a joyful sense of becoming free of oneself and all, you look at your higher self or guide, 
her teacher with smiles and let go and become one with the ocean and cosmos. In a joyful sense of becoming free of oneself, you look at your guide, your higher self or your teacher, smile and let go and becoming one with the ocean and cosmos. In a joyful sense of becoming free of oneself, you look at your guide, your higher self, or your teacher, smile and let go and become one with the ocean and cosmos. And this day, choose to move from unconsciousness to consciousness. On this day, choose to move from unconsciousness to consciousness. From separation and bondage to unity and freedom. Cultivate the longing to know the truth. Cultivate the longing to know the truth. It is the moving from untruth of separation to the truth of union or yoga that you shall be free. It is the moving from untruth of separation to the truth of union or yoga that you shall be free. Let this journey of moving from untruth to truth continue on all levels of life and experience. Let this journey of moving from untruth to truth continue on all levels of life and experience. The very soil that you walk upon is your very body. The very soil that you walk upon is your very body. Umbilical cord of breath and bread are basis of your ex existence. Umbilical cord of breath and bread are basis of your existence. In the vast space of cosmos, you are but and a speck who is here in this form for an speck of a time. In the vast space of cosmos, you are here but an speck, who is here in this form for an speck of a time. Creation and the source of creation are packaged as one. Creation and the source of creation our package as one. The choice of being teeny creation or the very source of creation is an option only for the conscious one. The choice of being teeny creation or the very source of creation 
is an option only for the conscious one. On this day, choose to move from unconsciousness to consciousness. On this day, choose to move from unconsciousness to consciousness. From separation and bondage to unity and freedom. On this day, choose to move from unconsciousness to consciousness. From separation and bondage to unity and freedom. From misery of loneliness to blissfulness and loneliness. From misery of loneliness to blissfulness aloneness from untruth to truth from untruth to truth We're going to begin setting our intention for those that we are going to end the recording for that portion. Um, for the listener, you can close your chakras if you wish. If you're able to control your energetic or be aware of your energetic field and others interfering with you, you don't have to. Otherwise, to close the chakras, you just retract them back and stop the rotation. You actually don't close the chakra because chakra never close but you set them back into a normal format. Starting with the crown chakra, retract it back and stop the rotation. Third eye, retract it back and stop the rotation. Throat chakra, retract it back and stop the rotation. Heart chakra, retract it back and stop the rotation. Solar plex, Retract it back and stop the rotation. Sacral, retract it back and stop the rotation. Basic, retract it back and stop the rotation. And this will be ending our meditation. People who are not joining our setting intention can drink a glass of water and ground art themselves. At this time, we are going to stop the video and set our intention for the week.